it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you a little hack that I discovered while printing DTF transfers. So as you know, DTF transfers or direct to film transfers uh, are used for garments. It's direct to film and you put it on a garment, right? So it avoids the cutting of heat transfer vinyl, weeding heat transfer vinyl. Uh, it avoids the layering. It avoids the issues that you might have with sublimation where you can't put on certain substrates. So DTF has a lot of benefits. Um, it is not typically for hard goods. However, I have figured out that you actually can use it on some hard goods. So this is super cool. So I've actually been experimenting with putting DTF uh, transfers on wood. This is a, excuse the color, I just had an extra notebook sitting around. It's kind of like a suede-ish leathery material. So there's another one. Uh, here's another little wood one. Okay, and then also canvas. So obviously canvas is fabric. The issue that you're gonna have with this is the back. So you do need to put something in the back. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how this works uh, so you can do it too because this is just another way to use DTF transfers. And the reason that I really like this is because these are not handled a lot. You don't have to worry about laundering. You don't have to worry about is it gonna peel up or is it gonna rub off? Most people are not sitting there, you know, picking at this although it is very secure on this canvas and on this wood i just want to let you know that you know for the most part no one is sitting there um that these types of signs and whatnot don't get nearly the handling or the use that something like a shirt would that is getting put into the laundry or worn over and over again so this is a really great option for dtf whether you have a bn20d or a uninet 100 uh, a prestige an epson uh, F2100. This can all be done uh, with this, those DTF printers. Okay, so you're just going to print your DTF transfer like you normally would and apply the powder uh, just again like you normally would. You're going to put the DTF transfer in your curing oven 120 seconds for 120 degrees Celsius. Okay, bring it out. I have two here, so I'm just going to cut them apart. And then on these hard goods and the smaller type items, I actually like to use my Cricut Mini Easy Press. It does not take long at all. Too much heat and too much pressure is going to cause it to wrinkle and melt, and you won't be able to peel it off easily. But look at that. It's so cool. And if some of it comes up, you can just repress. But for the most part, it is really easy to just press and peel. Of course, wait till it cools because they're all cold peel, just like normal. And look at those custom signs. All right, guys, so if you are looking for to do more with your DTF printer uh, than just t-shirts, I recommend that you try it out on signs, on wood, on canvas, different things like that. The small ones are probably better, especially if you are going to use um, an easy press mini. Be very, very careful and do a lot of testing if you decide to use a heat press. I do think that's gonna end up being too much heat, too much pressure, and you really only need a quick like five to 10-ish seconds, uh, as you saw me in the video. It was very, very fast. Uh, to apply the DTF transfers to the surface. So give it a try. I would love to hear your experience. Of course, my word of advice that I always like to remind you, do not put something up for sale. Do not offer something for sale until you try it yourself because of course it may work for me, but I want you to be confident in your products as well. If you are looking for more videos on uh, DTF, whether that's on the Epson 2100 or any of the smaller desktop DTF printers, I have lots of videos on all of those that you can check out as well. If you're looking for help on your DTF printer, uh, you want some one-on-one, -on -one, maybe a little, you need a little extra, um, I do offer that through silhouette you so check that out as well and we do offer a seven day free trial links for everything that i mentioned whether that's the cricut easy press or any of the dtf printers you can find in the description below and on to the side up here and don't forget to hit subscribe i would love to see you back here at silhouette school on youtube all right guys